Phil, congratulations. We're off to Wembley in a 2 0 win over Stockport County. What did you make of the performance? Um, I thought we grew into the game. Um, both teams, there was a bit of edginess, I thought, first half. Some uncharacteristic errors from, from both sides, but there was, there was a lot at stake, you know, local pride, semi final of getting to Wembley, etc. But I thought we grew into the game and uh, had some couple of really good chances to, to take the lead. Didn't take them, um, but with Moles on the pitch, you always believe that you're going to get a goal. I'm not speaking of Moles, he missed that chance earlier on in the second half, just wide of Hinchless goal. And you always feel if you give Mullen one chance, he's going to bury the next one, and he did twice again later in the game. He's such a big game player, isn't he? Yeah, that's right. You know, strikers miss chances. That's it's the nature of the, of the job. Um, but the good strikers take the next one, and uh, that's what he did today. Um, you always fancy him when he's in those situations. He, he dragged that one wide, but two really good goals. The first one's an outstanding finish, and, and the second one just just sealed the deal for us. And you know, it's um, a good day for the football club, for the owners, um, and the players. I just said to the lads in there that you know, there's players go through the whole career, never get a chance to play at Wembley. There's managers and coaches never get a chance. The supporters who are still waiting to see their team at Wembley, well, our supporters and our players have got a chance to, to have a great day out. Um, in the middle of May uh, to, to, to go to Wembley and I'm really looking forward to that and, and we've had to work hard to get that um, but we've, we've thoroughly deserved to, to, to have that day out. And it is a real reward isn't it like you say for all the players and the squad and the management who've really worked hard over this season to get it to this point and have that day at Wembley. Yeah it's something to look forward to now and um, you know we can put this firmly on the back burner, concentrate on what we've got to do in the league and um, yeah but it's... Uh, I don't think we can underestimate a, a, a final at Wembley. You know, it's great for everybody, and um, you know, in particular the owners, uh, Rob and Ryan, that um, you know, for them in their first season to, to take the club to Wembley, you know, it's great for them, and um, you know, I'm sure they'll be uh, over for the final and really enjoy it with all the supporters and, and all the players and, and the families. You mentioned the owners there. One half of them were there today. Ryan was there in the aviation gin suite watching the game. His first win. How good is it to see him in a win in a win like this as well? Yeah, I'm pleased that we've got a win for, for Ryan but with him here because obviously the, the Torquay game we, we drew. Um, so I'm really pleased, and I'm sure you know he'll have had another taste of the, the atmosphere here at the racecourse ground and the, the passion of our supporters and, and the drive and, and determination of the team as well. You know. There's a good spirit amongst the group. There's a, a real togetherness, not just within the group, a connection between the supporters and the players. Um, and I, I can feel that. And you can see it on the pitch tonight, today, sorry. Um, yes, yeah, so, so very pleased. I, I was particularly pleased with, with the back three and the goalkeeper today because, you know, obviously we conceded a lot of goals last week against Dover. And um, <clears throat> as much as we enjoyed the euphoria of that win, um, we had to look at you know, why we ended up 5-2 down and readdress the, those situations and um, I thought the back three um, and Dibs were resolute today and, and did really, really well and, and I'm so pleased for them because they've been great for us all season, had a blip, we had to discuss why and I thought they got back on the horse today, were excellent. And just an isolated result, Stockport obviously unbeaten in the last 21 games for us to beat them today is a massive scalp and shows how far the squad has come and it's such a continuous run that we're on now, making it 11 unbeaten. Yeah, I think um, you know, it's important as well because it's a little bit of a statement as well, you know, in terms of the league, league form. And um, you know, I felt coming to the game that we had to put a marker down, that we're in there, you know, we're ready and waiting. And um, I thought we showed that today. Um, it was a tough game. Obviously, they were a good side. You, good side. you know, you don't go that many games unbeaten unless you're a very good team. Um, but I felt we deserved it today. We had the better chances. Club runs are no stranger to you in the management team with Steve Parkin as well. How good do you? How good does it feel for you personally to manage to get another trip to Wembley? In, in terms of personally, you know, me and Steve were just just talking about it uh, just before I came in here. To to go to Wembley is, is very very special, and um, you know, not just for for me and Steve, but for our families as well. And um, you know, I'm looking forward to enjoying that day with, with our families. And you mentioned before the supporters again how much they've been a twelfth man this season. Today was another special atmosphere, wasn't it? Yeah, we, we've had some good, good, good days and nights here this season, and you know we're looking to create a few more. I think that's important. We enjoyed today. We enjoyed the win against Dover in a strange kind of way. Um, you know, and I said to the lads that enjoy tonight. Obviously, um, we need to be ready for Tuesday because um, it's another big game for us. Um, but I feel that. There's a couple of good signs I felt on today that 
I stood on the touchline, Steve, and I just was going, I feel it's coming. I feel we're getting better in the game. You know, I feel we're growing into it. And, and that's a good sign that, you know, the, the players kind of, you know, at the start was a bit fast and furious. A few passes were going astray. But as the game went on, you know, I felt confident we'd improve. And, um, you know, that's a nice feeling to have as a manager. And that belief in momentum, really, we've seen over so many games of recently. We've mentioned it last week with Wheelston, Dover last week as well. And today's just another one of those moments that shows that the players have that never say die attitude. Yeah, we've got to go to the end in, in every game. And, you know, the game lasts 94 minutes. And, um, you know, that mentality is so important. And, um, yeah, we showed that today, you know, with Moses' outstanding finish. And, and then the second one, like I said, which just, uh, you know, got us over the line. Nice one. Congratulations, Phil. Thank you very much.